Hi, my name is Rakesh Shukla. I am the voice of Stray Dogs. <laughs> Laddu was supposed to die of liver failure and edema. He came to me when he was two months old from a slum. He was just, just about six, seven kgs of weight. He was dying of malnutrition. He had a liver problem. Why was your name alien? Because he had no hair. He had no he was bald when he came. He had no hair. There is no ear for Jai. Got bitten off by another dog. Hmm? Abandoned dog he was. Abandoned boy. No ear for my Jai. She was one month old. She was hit by a bike. It broke her face. So she's been living with me ever since. Her name is Husna. When this phenomena took took hold in the press, in the media, that yes, dogs have to be exterminated, dogs have to be culled, and this has happened in 2007 in Bangalore, um, where you know many many thousands of dogs were brutally culled. My first response at that time was to what mo mostly people would do perhaps is I started calling other NGOs and I said listen um, there is something that is going to happen it has happened before you know that um, you know it can be really bad um, I want to part if you're doing something I want to participate with you I want to help you do that but guess what every single one of them said that do not worry about it what has to happen has happened somebody famously told me let sleeping dogs lie don't worry if something happens then let it be after a few months and a few thousand dogs being culled it will go away and it was very shocking for me to know that you know somebody who everybody else thinks responsible that they will actually fight are the ones who are saying that well that's okay that's how it happens you know and if uh, and but it, it is seasonal it kind of goes away so that option of letting a cull happen, a dog cull happen with, you know, dogs would be rounded up and killed was not an option. Dogs needed a mouthpiece, dogs needed somebody to tell their story uh, from a legal perspective, from a medical perspective, from a socio-economic perspective. What is the current state of dogs and what happens to them? What, how do they live in Indian cities? Where do they live? What happens when they are hit? What, what are the rights they have? And that's how the Voice of Straight Dogs started. <laughs> Getting things done off the and getting them off the ground is always a struggle and that's what happened with us. We started with um, maybe 15-20 volunteers, people who kind of hung together and we said that we this is what we're going to do but what quickly is we found out is that everyone had a different um, intention of joining this fight everyone had a some people were very closely allied to a particular NGO particular group of people some people were looking for personal glory some people were closely allied to uh, the BBMP that we were fighting in the courts or we were planning to fight in the courts at that time so there were many such drivers uh, but in the end what came about is that uh, you have to go it alone uh, so very soon over the next few months all the uh, volunteers and engagements they dropped off essentially what it left was me uh, after the first few dogs I realized a few things one is that I have a talent and I had the talent which is that I could relate and I could understand pretty much any dog like I said um, a large part of what VOSD does today is rescue and that's where the talent is really used because we actually deal with uh, between five to ten dogs every day so we actually monitor these are not faceless animals these are not some numbers that we are running they're like you know prisoners in a system that they are some number in some some prison they're actually all known entities my personally my 350 370 dogs they all have names so that's that's the biggest motivation that we have which is to one take care of the dogs that are already in our care and the second biggest motivation for the day is actually go out and rescue as many dogs as we can what i would
would like to uh, really say for uh, for for us and for people is that um, if you see a dog in need, help the dog. No amount of infrastructure and nothing that will ever happen will ever replace how you go and help the dog. While dogs are man's best friend, um, I think the question is, are we theirs?